Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, even a dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And as always, if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Today I have my second box from Desk Stash to share with you. Desk Stash is a quarterly desk accessory and office supply box, but the items all have a of whimsy which I absolutely love there's really unique products that might make your colleagues a little bit jealous I think that this box would be a fantastic back to school or back to work gift to someone else or just a really nice way to kind of spruce up your work from home office make you feel a little bit more creative this box is $45 per quarter plus shipping the shipping to me in California for example would be about $10 but if you are interested in subscribing you can use the link that I'll leave for you in the description box below and the code Noel15, and that will save you 15%. This box was kindly sent to me for review, and I'm so excited to see what we've got inside this time. The last box that I received was so much fun to photograph, and I just kind of like wanted to work in an office space again. I work from home currently, but I wanted to like show off all of my goodies. So inside, we just have their little card that tells us all about desk stash, and you do usually get um, a value of about $80. That's the average retail value of the boxes and five to seven unique office supplies and desk accessories suitable for both men and women so this is another box that's good to keep in mind when you're like trying to shop for someone who's really hard to get gifts for so let me see this is the actual uh, sheet that tells us about the items even this is like beautiful nice design so it does say that the summer 2021 edition has a total retail value of $76 so you are getting a bit of a deal in there as well and it looks like we have seven different items which is great so in Inside. This is what it looks like. We managed to get a lot in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the biggest item, you guys, which looks to be a mug, which has some birds on it, which is kind of interesting. I've sort of developing a bird mug collection. So this is the bird on a wire mug. 18 ominous grackles, crows, and blackbirds will hover during the wait for your first morning coffee, but pour it or any other piping hot liquid into this amazing mug and turn them all into a chorus of colorful, non-threatening summer birds. Hand wash, please. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. So this is one of those like heat sensitive ones so it's very like sleek when it's like this it's just like the black silhouettes of these birds I kind of love this very like chic um, very 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 me and then you guys when you add a hot beverage the birds change color so you can actually see that they actually show their 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 true feathers i guess so that is so cool i have a couple of like heat sensitive mugs that is why you don't want to uh, put that in the dishwasher i did have one accidentally go through the dishwasher and it's still okay but i do not suggest it um so it is microwave safe though so that's kind of nice so if you want to heat up your coffee or your tea you definitely can but i mean i honestly kind of like it in just the black and the white but how fun like to kind of make people be like wait I thought that mug was just black and white and now you have all these colorful birds. That is a pretty cool item and I, I have had to make more space you guys because I get such cool mugs that I actually got like a mug shelf like a little like rack that has hooks on it so that I could hold on to more of them and not have to re-gift so many and this one is definitely going to be one that I keep. So it says it's for the birds. So cute. I love that. It's going to go with all my bird mugs. Who knew I was going to start having bird mugs. Let me know if you have pet birds. I had pet birds growing up. I had parakeets. All right, so what else? Ooh, I like this. So <laughs> this is like an at or um, here we go. So this is the at sign, you guys, which we all know because now I feel like people just, instead of thinking of it as at, they think of it as a way to tag somebody. So um, the way social media changes our like vocabulary and our, our associations. So let's see if I can find this one on here. Where you're at bookmark cute even though the name of this sleek little bookmark contains a dangling preposition you'll forgive it i love that too <laughs> print a report bind it with this hefty well-designed clip pass it to your boss and brace for that promotion so it's just a nice bookmark but or it could be like a really fancy paper clip but i think that is really cool stainless steel clip on bookmark um, I wouldn't want to like give it to anyone. I might give it to my husband who the other day was like using like a slip of paper as a bookmark and I was like I have so many cool like page markers and bookmarks like but he would probably really appreciate this one although he's not like a big social media person but it is kind of cute to remember where you're at. I think that's adorable and I like how big it is and it would just like kind of look cool sitting on your desk too. Awesome. I'm I'm already really excited about like taking photos of this box although it might be a little bit tricky to do the like the colorful birds. 
to time it just right. Ooh, this is exciting. I get so excited about like office supplies, you guys. Yes, I love stationery and like paper goods, but I really love like gadgets and stuff too. So this is glue tape. So it's a two pack, so it's just this. So let me go ahead and open this up. This is double-sided adhesive tape roller. This double-sided tape roller is precise and full of utility. Use it to post temporary do not disturb signs and to do paste up that in sync fanzine you secretly pr producing on the company Xerox machine. It's precise and there's no need to tidy up after using it. So this is almost like those um, old like corrector ribbons. Remember like when we moved away from the brush whiteout that used to bug me and then you had like the nice tape version, but this is like sticky. So it's like, you don't have to have like a tape dispenser with the double stick tape. So this is such a great useful item. I'm so stoked on this. I will definitely be using this because I, the other day I had to like get out a glue stick and I felt like a kid because it was like the purple glue stick so you can see where you actually put the glue and this would have just been like a little bit <laughs> a little bit more grown up but I also I love the like sense of humor that they always have in their descriptions I like had to do a double stick uh, to paste up that in sync fanzine you secretly been producing on the company Xerox machine. So I did a lot of office work when I was in high school and then when I was home from college in the summers and I would definitely like produce my own things on the company Xerox machine. I like made whole poetry books, like I printed stuff out, like I was really into like formatting. Should have been a graphic designer. All right, you guys, this is pretty cool. So we got some magnets. So this is one of those, you know, little magnet sets that we get all the time, but this one definitely has like a vintage feel to it. It says Atomic Energy Mighty Magnets. Anybody recall Duck and Cover? So you're kind of dating yourself with that because I definitely, I'm older, but I did not have to do like the Duck and Cover drills under my desk because we all know that wouldn't do anything anyway. But this is what they look like. So we've got all kinds of like atomic symbols and stuff. I don't want to hold it straight up because I'm afraid they'll all fall out. Um, and it says tack your lists, and maps of the nearest civil defense shelter onto a metallic surface with the series of atomic magnets. That wild photo of the atomic bomb cake is our favorite. Their wedding party must have been a blast. That is so funny. Oh, it is an atomic bomb cake at the bottom, you guys. Let me see if I can find that one. Pull that, pry that one out of there for you. So yes, it is a wedding cake that looks like the atomic bomb. Pretty funny, actually. I just thought it was like a normal wedding cake, but obviously in this set of magnets, it is something a little bit crazier interesting interesting let's see what else we've got now we have scarier things to worry about <laughs> all right this is mini at camera oh sticky memo and photo frame how cute with like a retro camera so i do use like a point and shoot camera i have an slr i use my phone a lot but i also just really like my camera and i the reason i like it is because it has this kind of like retro look with it like with a almost like leather grip on it which is really cool so this is what is this it says, the lens of this two-dimensional camera is comprised of 30 circular sticky notes. After you've used them all, the camera becomes a unique photo frame. What's a camera, you might ask? Go ask someone over 40. So yes, that's me. Whenever I'm like traveling and I'll be like, hey, can you take a photo? Because even though like we're pretty good at selfies, my husband and I, like every once in a while, you want a little bit more of the background instead of like your face is taking up the whole frame. And I like have to hand it to somebody and be like, it's an actual camera. You have to like half press the shutter to make it focus and then press the button. And people are always like shocked that I have a real camera. And then I have to be like, then they're, they're, they're like, is it a film camera? I'm like, no, it's still a digital camera. And it's fancy enough that it's got Wi-Fi, so I can transfer the photos directly to my phone, which I think is so funny that I'm taking photos because they're better quality on my camera, but I'm just gonna transfer them to my phone so that I can post them on social media. But anyway, I think this is pretty cute. And my husband, again, he, this is like a box he'll appreciate and, and use as well. He was just the other day trying to steal some of my sticky notes. And I was like, I will get you your own sticky notepad because you can't have any of mine. But what a cute little frame too. I think that'll be really adorable to have. All right, let's see, what else have we got? I think we're like nearing the end. But we will do a little like recap, of course, at the end. We have, I think, two more items to go. This is pretty awesome, you guys. So this is the B Indie Rockers binder clips. I love binder clips, like love binder clips. Um, there's, <laughs> I don't use them as much anymore now that I'm not in grad school and have like big like stacks of paper that I have to bind, but I still love them. Um, and these ones are pretty cool because they're in like pastel colors, but then they've got like rockstar symbol hands. I kind of love that. There's even 
got like a tickets on the back. I wish I had that many tickets. My husband actually keeps all of his ticket stubs. So it's kind of a bummer for us that now all of your tickets are like on your phone now and they actually cost more money, not just to have them sent to you in the mail, but to have them even print a ticket just because it's such a cool memory to have. And he has like a whole shoe box full of them. Um, I wouldn't like want to dent them with the binder clips though. Do you remember when you use binder clips? Like you don't want to do it on like, like surfaces that are kind of sensitive that might like leaves dip it might leave dents on just on paper so <laughs> let's see what it says about these be indie rocker clips unleash your inner metal head with these binder clips our friends in judas priest swear by them in his west midlands accent rob halford has often said these colorful clips are stronger than british steel if you don't use these you'll be breaking the law i can't do a um west midlands accent sorry guys uh, but this is pretty cool nice useful item kind of definitely whimsical something like that would give someone a chuckle right when you hand them that that stack of paper when you hand them all of the the handouts for the presentation or the I don't know what we do these days anymore that actually requires binder clips I feel like you just get sent PowerPoint presentations all right this is cool so it looks like it's actually desk stash branded robot worker with an extra strong back I don't know what huh what is this Flashy the robot, it says meet Flashy. That's a great name. <laughs> meet Flashy the little Asimovian desk stash robot. He will dazzle you with his memory and can store your data over four gigabytes in his Chrome noggin. <laughs> Introduce him to your USB port when you need him. So it's a USB. Um, <laughs> that's awesome. It says eventually he'll take over the world because that's what robots do. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this. I have to like free him. I have to free him from his plastic shell from his plastic cage. Oh my gosh, he's like the cutest. <laughs> so it does say desk stash on the front. He's very reflective, but look how cute. I th are those his ears or his arms? I think they're his ears, arms. That's his funny little face. He almost looks like he should be like a bottle opener too. And then he's got like these springy legs that like actually kind of spring. Oh my gosh, that's so much fun. So let me see. So <laughs> I have to take his head off. I'm sorry, you guys. So he takes his, okay, I guess he takes his own head off. So those are his arms and then goes whoop. And then you can put it in there and move things from one thing to another. So I actually kind of love that. And it's also got like a little like clippy so you could put it on a keychain. It's really useful to have these things, uh, especially now we all like have USBs on like everything. Um, I don't often move things from like my computer to something, but you know, for like a, a, a four gig file, that's pretty big. Honestly, it's like one of my videos, but um, for photos and stuff, that's always a nice thing. I used to have to like do that because I was always the photo taker and then people would like be like, you know, you don't necessarily like have a photo bucket account, I feel like anymore. So this is a lot easier to go ahead and just send them. Although I take a lot of photos, so it might take a couple rounds from uh, Flashy. Flashy is so cute, little flash drive, super duper adorable. And I feel like he might actually even stand up on his own. His little um, key ring part might be a little bit, no, he stands up on his own, you guys. You will definitely see this over on Instagram when I take some photos. Let us go over everything we got. Flashy's like my favorite. I think it's just cause they named him. Um, I love this box because it's really practical. Like they said, you can set, definitely gift it to men or women and it makes me like laugh. So it makes me a little giddy and a little bit silly in my videos. We got our where you're at bookmark, which is very sleek, very cool, very functional. Our bird on a wire mug, which is, you know, this is like something that you can use whether or not you work in an office. Mine has like, oh, I think those are like, those might turn into like telephone poles or something on it. <laughs> That's pretty cool though. Love that. We got our double-sided adhesive tape roller, super useful. Our Atomic Energy Mighty Magnets. These, I'm like, you guys know I don't like put any magnets on my refrigerator, but I need like a big metal file cabinet anyway. I'm like running out of storage space. We got our camera sticky note pad that also turns into a cute little frame. We got Flashy the Robot. Gotta love Flashy. And then finally our like rock star um, binder clips in four pastel colors to kind of give you that contrast between rock star and Easter. I don't know. Um, my favorite items are probably the mug just because I think it's lovely. I'm hoping that that's not like a discoloration on it, but I'll give it a nice gentle wash to make sure. I love the at bookmark and I love flashy, but you guys let me know what your favorite item in this great summer desk stash was. Definitely get your hands on it. I think it's still available. Maybe like I said, it's a nice, great uh, back to school gift, or if someone is going back to work in the office, I know a lot of us are, this would be something to keep in mind. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.